my name is Hannah and welcome to Whole Foodie Challenge. On this channel, we explore plant-based foods, setting healthy habits to live a whole foodie life. This week, I am going to be reviewing burger places. I know, burgers, are they healthy, Hannah? I'm not so sure. There's four spots that we're gonna check out. Bin 4, Big Wheel Burger, <laughs> Pink Bicycle, and Burger Shack. No, heaven? Now I forget the name of it. Let me look this up. Your crush. They're all in the local Victoria, BC area. They have a combination of meat, burgers, and plant-based options. This is really great for anyone exploring the city or who lives here and wants to eat a burger, but maybe wants a plant-based option and their partner eats meat or vice versa. And so I thought this would be fun to do a little review. We did a couple this fall. So we did an ice cream tour, a coffee tour, and both of those were very well received. So we're gonna just keep, keep it going with the reviews. For me, there's a few things that make a good veggie burger. I do not like Beyond Meat burgers. I don't know about you. I find them just like super greasy and like, I don't know. I just don't like them. Sorry. I was very excited to see that both, all four of these places have their own veggie patties that they make in-house. I like a classic like bean burger would they put rice in there too sometimes that's my favorite the other thing that's like a make or break for me is the bun i like a good classic brioche bun when i eat a burger i go all out i don't skimp and get like gluten-free or like the lettuce wraps but i understand that some people might like that so that's something i'm also going to consider when i try these places like is there gluten-free or like healthier options? For me, if I'm gonna have a fast food burger, like put on the mayo, put on the condiments. Um, as you know, I love a good condiment. I've created a condiment ebook if you don't know that already. Unique flavors, but also like don't go too wild. Um, I love a good caramelized onion, like caramelized mushroom on the burger. A good vegan cheese is very important. I love a good vegan cheese. I think those are like the main things and like just not too mushy. The burger patty also has to be like the right size. So like the proportion of the bun to the burger has to be correct. If it's too much bun, not enough bun or too much patty, like no, it's got to be equal ratio. The other thing is like being warm. <laughs> I know this is the tricky thing. So we are still in our pandemic. It's 2021, but we're still here and we still got to dine out, which I hate. Okay, I'm sorry. This is a total champagne problem, but this is a foodie problem. I will give it that is like ordering food to go and then carrying it home and then it being cold by the time you eat it, which is so annoying. Cold burger is awful. So yeah, those are my initial thoughts on burgers. If you're enjoying these videos so far, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and then hit the little bell below and then you'll get notified when new videos come out. Let's check out these places. Let's see what they're like. Let's see what they have to offer. I'm excited. <laughs> stop on the tour is Big Wheel Burger. This location is in Cook Street Village. They have multiple locations. They source all their products um, ethically, sustainably, and locally. And it's just the greatest spot to eat if you're coming back from the beach or Dallas Road. So I ordered my burger and now I'm waiting in line to pick it up system here, this nice undercover system. Um, as you can tell, my bangs reminded their own. Reminder for people wanting bangs. Um, I ordered the chickpea burger, made vegan, and some fries. And I just went across the street and got a couple cans of beer as well. I'm gonna go all out. They also have like some seating here, but it's too cold right now. So I'm just 
gonna take it home and hope that it's not freezing cold by the time I get there. I love their system for pickup. So you order your food at the first window and then you walk down to the second window to pick up your food. It's like a drive through but for pedestrians. It's super cool. Okay, the prices we pay to make eat good burgers. I just walked home from Big Wheel. Uh, it took about 10, 15 minutes. Still feels a little bit warm, so that's good. I went with classic fries. Nice, nice portion. Ooh, these are still hot, that's good. And then a Cajun chickpea burger. Mm. It's still warm, that's good. Aw, they even put a little label. So cute, with a little flower. Um, it's all vegan. He even gave me two dips to try. This one is, okay, so this is the Chipotle style vegan mayo, and this is the garlic one. Okay, let's take a look at this burger. So it definitely has more of the mayo on it. And then this chickpea, chickpea burger. So it's just mayo, the chickpea burger, and then some lettuce, but it looks like they did like more of a coleslaw. So there's like, yeah, just like coleslaw and carrots. No cheese. They didn't give me napkins. That's like, do they know me? Hold on. I almost feel like I need to do one of these. Because if you know, you know. Okay, moment of truth. So this is definitely going to be more of a spicier. They also had another veggie burger. It was like yam and black bean. Um, I don't know if that one was vegan and it wasn't homemade. Like this is their homemade patty. Mm. It's got some kick, that's for sure. I just like, I love a good vegan, I like a good burger with cheese on it. I also got this, a London Fog Ale. Oh, it's made with Silk Road, that's exciting. Silk Road is a local tea shop in Victoria. If you come here, you have to try their teas. It's so good. So this is a smooth, easy drinking ale infused with Silk Road London Fog Black Tea Blend. But the beer is from on Vancouver Faculty Brewing. Interesting, because the tea is Victoria. So it's kind of a local fusion of Victoria and Vancouver. Cheers. Oh, that's really good. Okay, back to the burger. They definitely like deep fried or crispy fried, hot fried. The patty, it's got some crispiness to it, which I really like. You can see it there. Mm hmm I like that. The bun is, it's a little, no, I, I like it. I'd give the bun like a good eight out of 10 for brioche style. I've had better brioches, but this is pretty good. The patty to bun ratio is good. I feel like, well, I'm, it's missing something. Is it cheese? Is it tomato? I do also love a good tomato, but again, carrying this home, it would definitely be soggy if there was tomato in it. The patty itself definitely has some rice in it. Let's just try the patty itself. Sorry, I'm getting really in, in here. It's spicy, it mi it's missing some salt, I think. Yeah, it's like it needs salt or something. But it's got that kick that I really like. It's a, it's a good patty. Ooh, yeah, it definitely has kick. I thought it was the mayo, but I think it's the patty too. There's definitely cayenne pepper in there. You know that spice that like hits you after you swallowed it? I get that from this. Oh, there's a surprise pickle in there. Some people would not like that. I like surprise pickles. Yeah. 
I'm actually quite impressed. Not too thick of a patty, not too doughy. I really liked what they did to socially distance. It felt like a drive-through, but it was a walk-through, which was super cool. You could order online, which I almost wish I did because then I wouldn't be waiting. Yeah, I like this one. I give it a solid eight out of 10. I'm gonna have to try the other places and to do a full comparison, but, and it kept its heat too, which I really appreciate because that was a walk to get home and like if it was cold when I got home. Before I go, I'm gonna try the fries and the dip, right? So this is the, ch well, let me cleanse my palate first. Okay, I'm gonna start with the garlic because I still got a lot of heat in there. And I don't know about you, I always love the double fry. Just like single fry isn't enough for me. Mm. That's not the Hellman's vegan mayo. I know, I know the Hellman's vegan mayo and that's not it. This is a better mayo. It's lighter. I, I want to say they made it themselves, but maybe not. Okay. The fries are good. Classic fry. The chipotle. I like the chipotle. I mean, it goes with the theme of the burger. I'm pretty sure that's what's on the burger. I'm very impressed with the t double vegan mayo dip. So that makes me think that like you could probably swap this spicy Cajun for the garlic, which might be better if you don't like a lot of spice. I mean, there's a bit of kick in the patty, but then you could get the garlic aioli and it would kind of like balance it out maybe. Interesting. Well, there's my review for you. Yeah, I'd go back for sure. And it's in Cook Street Village. I mean, you can't go wrong. Go across the street, pick yourself up one of these lovely beers. And if the weather's nice, like you could go down to the beach and eat it or to the park. <sighs> Can't wait for it to get nice again. Until next time. On to our second spot, which is Pink Bicycle. There's only one location. It's in the downtown area on Blanchard Street. I just think the outside is super funky. And they do offer dine-in right now, or you can pick up to go. And they always have like a weekly burger on special. I didn't get this week's feature, but it is a vegan one. Honestly, guys, this is super challenging and my burner is probably cold. Ugh. Okay. I just ate half my burger and I didn't film it. And I'm so annoyed. I pressed the freaking photo button. I have so much to say about this burger. I'm so sorry. Let's pretend I haven't eaten any of it. <laughs> That's the inside. Oh man, I might have to do this one again. Um, <laughs> Cole's notes, it's amazing. Um, and this is the beer I got, Current Sour Russell Brewery. It's from Surrey, which is the lower mainland. Really good sour. I'm so mad. This whole thing didn't record. Beauties of being a vlogger. So my first few bites, let's try and take this, film this again. They put the pickle on the side, which is really good. Give it a thumbs up for that. The bun, it's not a brioche bun, but it is kind of squishy. I don't know what kind of bun to call this. Well, it's a sesame bun. Now the patty, I'm gonna take a bite of the patty it's very overcooked, but I don't know if you can hear that. Crispy exterior, soft interior, which is really nice. Mmm, so good. They have different um, patty combinations too. So there's a Moroccan chickpea, which is what I got. The patty has like dates in it, I think. Um, and like the Moroccan spices, so like uh, cumin, coriander, like a curry of sorts. Red pepper, this one has vegan mayo and I also got vegan cheese added. Um, however, the original recipe is a vegetarian recipe. They have some sort of mint yogurt and I think I'll have to look up again what's in it, but there's no cheese on this burger originally, but I kind of wanted to add cheese 
In hindsight, it probably doesn't need it. There's a lot of flavor. Oh, it's so good. That's why I like didn't film it properly because I was just going nuts over it. Ah, I didn't get my napkins either. Okay, these are the fries. They're just your typical fry with vegan mayo because I'm French like that and I like to eat fries with mayo. Oh, I should cleanse my palate. Mm, I'd give up, honestly, the only thing, I would have done a different type of bun with it, like a classic brioche bun. That's my, I'd give it a nine and a half out of 10. Mm, the fries are cold because I spent too long trying to film this stupid thing, but I've had them before and they're really good when they're hot. Vegan mayo is just vegan mayo. It's probably like the Hellman's brand. I don't think they've made it themselves. It's good though. Is it a homestyle fry? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm So they got the lettuce, tomato, onion combo, and then no coleslaw, and then the vegan mayo and the red pepper. But it's the patty that makes it. It's so flavorful. I want to try the, they have a black bean patty and they also have a portobello mushroom patty. And you can like sub and swap different ingredients from the different burgers. They're super open to it. And they have all these different mayos, although I don't think any of them are vegan. But I wonder, they might be able to make it vegan for you. I don't know. Nine and a half out of 10. I even like the overcooked patty. It makes it because it's so crispy and but like gooey in the middle. I'm loving this meal. Yep, go. And they are allowing people to come visit right now. Okay, that's all I have to say. Until next week. Our third stop is Bin Four Burger. This location is on Yates Street in the downtown area. There's multiple locations, including one in Vancouver now. It is a business that's run by three friends. And it, as you can tell, it's got some lovely outdoor seating. Um, you can dine in, you can take out. Um, they've got a great little app system to order the food online and it makes it really easy to order with lots of really unique and different types of burgers. Um, you know, I was gonna get a beer. So this is the beer I got this week, Coin Dark Matter. Um, Hoyne Brewery is also a uh, Victoria beer. It's like a dark wintry ale. I got some fries. Oh, look at the cute presentation. There's like tortilla chips on it. Super cute. Um, and they've separated everything. So I got some of the vegan red pepper mayo. Look at that lettuce leaf. And there's a little bit of mayo on there now. I need it to spread that a bit better. Looks like we've got some ketchup, the vegan cheese. I'm gonna try one of these. Mmm. And a nice brioche bun. So far, so good. It's a little bit on the cold side. What else is new? Quarantine vibes. Okay, uh, I cracked the beer first. Cheers. Oh no. Why doesn't anywhere give you napkins? I got these reusable napkins or like paper towels. I love. Okay, let's dig in. So far loving the bun, loving the lettuce. The presentation is good. A little cold. Mmm. I think it's that tomato-y ketchup. It's very sweet. I think it is a tomato relish, so it's more sweet. Um, quite good. I can definitely taste the lentils in the patty. It's a squishier patty. It's not as uh, crunchy as the other ones that I've had. Let's do a patty test. Yeah, it's quite squishy. It's getting everywhere. Um, Probably my least favorite of the patties I've had so far, just because it's a little bit, oh my gosh, this is one messy burger. I prefer something a little bit crunchier. All the other ones were like very deep fried. 
And as you can see, it's like even hard to break it out. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's very like doughy, but the flavor combo is great. I love the like addition of the crispy tortilla, like way to add something different, right? I don't think this is a burger you'd want to eat on a first date. A little messy. Flavor-wise, I quite like it with everything added. Gotta love the vegan cheese. Here, let me cleanse my palate. Oh, such a good classic dark beer. Okay. I like the fries so far. All the fries at all the restaurants are about the same. Good aioli. Ve vegan red pepper aioli. They only have the one type to choose from, but <clears throat> I think all places have had one to choose from. I would say I give this burger like a seven and a half. Seven and a half to an eight. It's the patty that's losing its interest. Everything else flavor-wise is really good. It's a little on the cold side. Probably would do a little less lettuce, but pretty good. Cheers to another burger. So Burger Crush started out as a food truck and is now a fully grab and go little spot on Fort Street. It's super cute. It took over the old Takofino building and they serve both vegan and meat cheeseburgers and fries and shakes. I'm on burger number four, the last one. And I got this fire safari suit. I call it a safari suit. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm totally gonna spill on it. So I've got my napkin here and I'm just gonna tuck her in. Um, no, maybe I won't. <laughs> what I love about this is they make like an actual vegan cheeseburger. You don't even need to add any vegan cheese or anything weird. Um, ooh, different looking fries. Don't know if you can tell. They're definitely the thin shoestring style. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I thought I would switch things up this week and I got a vegan milkshake made with cold comfort ice cream. This is a root beer milkshake. If you haven't seen my ice cream tours yet, I will put a note in the cards because I do uh, a review of the cold comfort ice cream. So this uses their coconut based ice cream. Oh, it's delicious. Mm. It's very coconutty though. I can taste the root beer, but not very much. Definitely taste coconut. This is the first place that comes with napkins. No other place gave me napkins, and a lot of them, so that's nice. And ketchup, I didn't get mayo. Shoot, I didn't get mayo. Um, this burger, let's give you a close up because I haven't done this with my other burgers. Look at that goodness. I added um, caramelized onions and mushrooms to this. It's got a vegan cheese. These are the fries, so definitely thinner, quite crispy. Okay, let me take this out of the packaging. So they've done a double layer here, which is nice because I have a feeling this is gonna get messy. How do you guys feel about mushrooms in your burger? I quite like them. I think it's hit or miss. I'm really, I could have got it without Man, the options for these burgers, you could do one patty, you could do a double patty, you could do onions, you could do peppers. I like that you have an, they have an app that you can order the burger from and just pick up. They have a good little system. I'm making a mess. Good little brioche bun, squishy. The patty itself looks quite crispy. How am I gonna eat this? Mmm. Mmm. I taste like almost peanut butter or something. There's a lot of flavor going on in this one. I think I got a little too excited with my new outfit. And I picked this up and I think it sat there cold for a few minutes. So it's definitely on the colder side, which I don't love. I think fresh this would be amazing. Mmm, the vegan cheese is really good. I wonder what type of 
cheese they use. I like it. Okay, now I'm gonna do the patty test. Sorry, I'm like making such a mess here. The cheese is like melted on the patty. The patty is really sticking together. Mm, I quite like the patty. It's got that crispy exterior that I liked in the pink bike one. It's definitely just staying together the best out of all the patties. You can tell the bun, there's a lot of like mayo and stuff going on in here. And so it's definitely on the messy scale, very messy. And I like the toppings. You got your classic lettuce, tomato, onion, and then the additions. They put the pickle in. Again, people who don't like pickles, beware. Overall, I like, but messy. Again, first date potential, pretty slim. But I mean, we're in COVID times. So you're not dating anyone right now. Your options are going out for a walk, I'm not into it. These fries, I like. I like a thicker fry and they're cold now. I should have got mail. So there's a party going outside. Overall, I really like this. I would rate an eight and a half out of 10. It's losing score because of its messiness, I would say. No, well, maybe give it a nine. Maybe it's the fries that are losing score. But overall, I really like this experience. I would highly recommend it. It's just a really quick thing to grab and go. So I hope you enjoyed this burger tour. Be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment below. What burger are you most willing to try and why? And what other burger joints should I check out? If you are, if you're local to Victoria and you know some other really good vegan burgers, let me know in the comments and I will be sure to check it out. Maybe we'll do a part two.